Hello and welcome back to Good Knit Kisses. I'm your host Kristen and today we are doing a book review. This is for a loom knitting book and this is brought to you by Leisure Arts. This book is called I Can't Believe I'm Loom Knitting and the patterns are by Kathy Norris and Kathy's got some beautiful patterns in here and Leisure Arts has granted us the permission, yay! to teach you series on how to read patterns and we are featuring one pattern it's the ridged lace hat and you'll be able to see a link to click on that so either you'll click up here or click down below in the link if you're on a desktop you'll be able to click on our video screen here but down below open up and expand the uh, description and you'll be able to see that so that is a the tutorial on how to read patterns and uh, follow along at the end of the class. So it's a 50 minute class. So let's get started on telling you about some of the patterns in this book. Okay, so I'm going to throw up some pictures on the screen here. So just pardon me, I'm going to glance at my book here. So we have got several patterns in here and they're all just gorgeous, um, very different from each other. Uh, you've got a range of different difficulties. Uh, she is, takes you beautifully through how to do basic steps all the way to more complicated intermediate types of stitch patterns and uh, techniques. The sampler afghan is the one I really want to point out because if you're starting to learn these stitches, she's got them all laid out. They have all the stitch patterns laid out like the corn cob stitch, uh, the two-tone lattice, the simulated basket weave. There is a um, honeycomb, and of course you've got your regular garter and your um, twisted stocking knit, and then they've got a, a cross between that uh, with the cross stocking knit. There's a diagonal stripe, um, the seed stitch and cables, which is very pretty, and then the ridge lace, of course we're doing in the hat pattern, so you can continue that stitch on and do more than just a hat with that and the snakes and ladder and lace and um, many or all of these stitches are actually in the sampler afghan so if you are trying to uh, learn different stitches you can make your own small afghan by making these blocks of um, different stitches so it's really nice for when you're learning and once you're comfortable with those then you can move on and make all kinds of patterns some of the patterns in here are the corn cob hat and scarf set and that one's actually rated an easy pattern. So if you've been wanting to do like a two color set, uh, it's very pretty. Then we've got the honeycomb and scarf set. That's also an easy kind of a plus pattern. So if you're a beginner kind of getting into um, something a little bit more difficult. Uh, a hooded vest, um, hooded stuff right now is very popular. Uh, this book is not actually like brand new but it's got several things in there that are still very much current so that's actually one of the things that I like about this book um, it's got some very classic patterns in here so it's one that you really want to put in your library um, one in here that I really love is the lattice pillow and the stitch on that is also good because it's a small um, project and you get something great to put on your pillow at home or to give to a friend of course it's very rich in, in, uh, its, um, in its look. So there's also some bejeweled fingerless gloves and they're not just the, the mitt type. They actually have miniature fingers on them. So they don't go all the way, but um, it's, it's really nice to learn how to make those. There's also a beautiful Robin's hood. It is a, um, it's like a hood with a scarf attached to it. It's got a beautiful cable on it. Um, which also fits in that hooded category that people are really loving right now. And then there's a garters, wedges, and baby blanket, which is beautiful. So um, that's a very classic pattern, too, because it's not too girly and it's not too boyish. And so it's really more of like the colors that you make of it to make your own. So I really love flexible patterns like that. That's one of, um, one of the things that I love about um, designing and things to, so that you can make it your own because... We don't need to see a bunch of our stuff. We, we want to see how creative you can be too. So, um, but then the Ridge Lace hat is also in there and that's the one that I chose to make on the video. So you can um, follow along with that and then start learning some of those stitches and maybe that will free you up to feel more comfortable because the way that I did the loom along is um, it takes a pattern that is an intermediate pattern, but it um, makes it easy. So even a beginner will be able to do it. So um, that should make you more comfortable. 
And the uh, lace wrap is in there. It's beautifully done. And they've got it in a pretty pink color. And uh, there's also a felted piece in there. So if you have been wanting to learn felting, there is, are some great instructions on felting. It's a stocking so you can get started on your um, next Christmas uh, list for people. And then there's a little panda hat. So what would uh, what would a book be without some kind of fun character? So um, those are some of the patterns that are in the book. Um, I may not have shown all the pictures to you, but um, I hope that that helps you know what the layout is. But like I said, this is a really good book for learning different samplers. So it is a good one to put in your stitch library and learn all these things and uh, get you ready for more patterns. There are more reviews and more books coming. And here is the last part that you really want to know. We are giving away, courtesy of Leisure Arts, two of these books. So you see this book behind me and this one in my hands. These two books are going to you guys. So I'd like you to go ahead and comment below, put your country, because as always, we do one international giveaway and one for the United States. So if you will put your country and make your comment, that'll be your entry for it. If you make any other comment, it won't be counted as an entry, but of course I love to get your comments and things. So, um, and please feel free to ask questions about the book. So after the giveaway is over, of course, we're gonna keep comments going. So if you have questions about the book or things like that, that's fine. Now I won't be walking anyone through any more patterns um, and um, please don't post any part of a pattern on the site that has to do with copyright and we have been given express permission just for the video to show those things but um, I won't be walking anyone through uh, any of the other patterns um, without express permission so um, thank you so much for joining us at Good Knit Kisses I hope that you enjoy this book please click the link below for your copy that is available in an ebook form and a hard copy so if you want one or both go for it, I say. So I love to have mine in ebook form too because I actually put them on my phone and my tablet and then can refer to them very easily. So it makes my library very light. So uh, anyway, I think they're great. Um, I want you to try the patterns. Please, um, please check out the video if you are not comfortable with books because I'd really like you to start reading more books. It's really good for you. So Thank you for joining me today. Happy looming, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.